Hello YouTube. Today we are going to create a interaction that is found in the Airbnb app. So the interaction is that when you uh, select this checkbox, we'll be displaying the total prices before tax instead of the price per night. So it's like a small tutorial. I mean, I'm trying to keep it small. So you can see that design in action. So you can see the design in action here. So when I uh, check this box, all the prices of these cards are changed to total price. And when I uncheck it, it changes back to price per night. So let's go, go on to the video. So we are so going we are to build a prototype of Airbnb homepage. And for that, I have started with a couple of components like checkbox and the card component. Now what I'm planning to do is I have to create a couple of other cards. So what I can easily do is I can just copy and, you know, uh, just rename each can just rename each to some other items so instead of that we can create variables and do it in a different way so i'm going to create a new collection called cards and uh, i'll create a variable for each of these items here so let's start with the location the location the next one is country so i'm just i'm just trying to use only lower case for the variable names it's not a requirement but just you know just trying to keep it consistent so i believe we have created the variables for all the items here so what we can do next is we can just attach the variable to the uh, design so I will just select the component and I will go here and select location and same over here and price per night. Okay. So these are values for first card so we will just rename this as card one and we can create multiple cards with using mode functionality yeah so we have created the variables for each card so what we can do is we can just create a copy of this and select this little icon over here and you can just switch between different cards so you can see that this uh, information is getting uh, changed why is the writing not changing so i think we have to update the changing so we have missed attaching the variable to this after attaching all the variables to the card now what we can do is we can just pull it into the design just check for spaces 20 pixels fine duplicate here we can also change the image so right now images are not supported in variables so we have to create components like this and what we can do next is just group all these cards and use apply auto layout and 20 pixels looks good and we can just uh, try the prototype whether it's looking to what we want so everything is in order we have the home page uh, create mockup done now what you have to do is when a user select this checkbox we should only show the total price and we should not show the uh, price per night so we have to just switch so for that we have to create uh, two more variables so we'll go to variables and we'll create a new collection and we'll call it uh, ui control and we create sorry we'll create a boolean variable called uh, show price per night initially this will be true and we'll create another one show total price initially it will be false next what we'll do is we'll just apply that to this card show total and this will be attached to show price per night so we are almost done now only thing which you have to do is add this interaction to the checkbox so when a user taps on this checkbox it should change the state to selected state it should also set variable 
उसको प्राइस पर नाइट टू फॉल्स एंड शो टोटल प्राइस टू ट्रू सो वी कैन जस्ट ट्राई इट सो यू कैन सी दैट प्राइस ना वी आर शोइंग दी टोटल प्राइस इन स्टेड ऑफ प्राइस पर नाइट now what we have to do is uh, we have to add an interaction about unchecking this so for that we'll go and click this check box add a tap interaction and then set variable variable show true yep let's test this so now you can see that the price is getting changed based on the checkbox interaction so that's it uh, thank you see you on the next video